Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. It's Tuesday morning, and we just received some, a coral shipment this morning. And I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about what that's like. Um, and I just wanted to check. You know, this it's really hot this time of year. Shipping corals can be hard. Um, and just, they put these ice packs in here. And this is a big box, and these were the ones sitting right under the ice pack. So I wanted to test the water temperature just to see what it was. This is a Euphelia, it's an LPS coral, it is a torch, um, and the temperature was 67 degrees. Um, and it's actually been sitting here for a few minutes, so it probably was a little bit colder. Now, that shouldn't even be a problem. Those of you who are worried about the temperature, 67 degrees, that, that shouldn't affect the coral. It's only a short time, and then, and then we should be good from there. So, I mean, when I'm swimming in the reef, when I'm snorkeling, the water will feel like it's 82 degrees and then a second later it'll feel like it's 50 degrees you'll feel cold water coming in so it's the long extended temperatures of heat you don't ever want your tank getting over or your corals getting over 84 degrees I don't like a hot tank I keep my tanks at 77 uh, 74 to 77 honestly and you know that's what I feel comfortable with and I, I've had good success with that temperature so Anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys, I will be updating inventory in a few. This is a busy summer for us. I'm really excited. Like I said, we're working on the new store. Um, here's the MACNA information, September 7th through 9th in Las Vegas. Those of you who are going, this is going to be an absolutely amazing show. I love MACNA and I also love Vegas. So two things that go well together. But that's that for now. I am going to dive into some more corals and check out the temperature as I get down a little bit further um, but I just wanted to shoot this real quick for you guys so just so you could see um, 66 degrees <laughs> is what this water is so I'll keep you posted I'll let you know what happens once they acclimate but you know rather 67 than 86 or 90, it's hot outside. Man, it's hot out. So, one more thing I wanted to just interject real quick with packing corals. Um, this is a small play coral, and one of the reasons I'm not too happy with the way this is packed is, I know they do it for quick, they're a busy business, and they're just, you know, packing and going, but these get caught in the corners, and they do pinch, and they do hurt the corals, especially when you pack other stuff on top. I don't like that, um, so here's what I do, okay? When we ship, when Corla ships your corals to you, we always take the extra time and fold in the corners. So there's no way for that coral to get pinched, and when you stack these on top of each other, there's no way for the tip of your coral to get crushed in this side. This is pretty sturdy. We've done impact tests on them. We've thrown them on the ground. We've stepped on them. We've put them out in the sun. We've done everything we can. So. Those of you who sell coral, who watch this channel, if you want to improve for your customers, tuck in the corners. It takes an extra second, but look at this. I mean, it's already, I don't even want to say anything, but the, it gets caught in the corner and it crumples the sides. I don't like that. So, and also, when we ship ours, <laughs> if anyone looks, it says, turn me over, please. A little starfish on the bottom of the box. So, we try our best to make sure, and we even made these nice and colorful, we're really trying to make sure people take care of their corals. The less stress that they get during shipping, um, the better they're gonna look when they get to your house and your tank and your aquarium. So, and I'll, I'll do another video on acclimation later, but I just wanted to throw that in there for you guys and those of the other reefers who watch this channel. Pass that information along. As always, thanks for watching. I'll try to have an up inventory update for you guys later. I am taking my family to the beach this week. That'll give me some time to plan out and think about the layout of the new store, the pond, the way we're setting it up. I'm just super, super excited. We're going to have an internet cafe, a place to bring your kids. This is going to be a pet store, fish store. Well, I shouldn't say a pet store because there's a pet store nearby, but a fish store, tropical fish store, marine pond, anything aquatics, maybe even reptiles. We'll see if you people like snakes and some iguanas. Maybe we'll add a few of them in there too. But really, our plan is to get everyone together, to help grow this hobby. To me, it teaches patience, it teaches 
appreciation. Having a fish tank teaches so many things. So starting kids young, that's what we want to do. We're going to have some school involvement programs, teach some marine biology to people on the weekends. We'll have some college interns at the shop working. We're going to have a huge fragging station. So we really just want to be there for you. We're going to bring the community back to reefing. Those of you who are beginners and feel like a complete, you know, out of the loop online with some of these forums, so many people just know so much that it can be overwhelming when you talk to somebody who already has been through it all because they just start throwing names and equipment at you and you get really confused and it is really hard to tell. Um, also, I want to let people know it's so funny when you tell people to guess the water temperature. Everyone thinks they can guess. It's hilarious because you don't realize your body is 98.6 degrees. So when you put your fingers in a bag, you know, it's all, I don't want to say, uh, what's the word? Relative. So temperature is relative. But there you guys go. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Love you guys. Uh, have a great week. Stay out of the heat. Stay hydrated. And oh, one more thing I wanted to tell you. Every morning when I get up, I make sure I have one of these drinks. This is the Blue Ocean. Um, this is one of the brands that we sell. This is an awesome drink for those of you who need energy. Um, if you have any problems with weight loss, whatever the issue is, it has many, many benefits. So feel free to ask me about that in the questions or comments below. And I'll say it again. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. If you guys like these extra tips, I'm going to start making more of my personal suggestions and requirements as part of the Patreon after hours. So when I do my regular videos, I'll have them as always on YouTube for you guys. But just to encourage some of you guys to give that dollar a month to be a patron supporter. Even if you don't want to do the $5 and get the 5% off Coralust.com or the $10 and get the 10% off Coralust.com for you hardcore reefing enthusiasts. Um, but yeah, just that, that dollar really helps helps us go a long way. So everything adds up. This is a team. So we appreciate anything, your feedback. But if you like those tips, make sure you become a Patreon supporter and you'll find a lot more of that after hours, just me talking, you know, anything. Maybe like just even designing the pond for the store. I really want you guys to be a part of that. So that kind of separates those of you who really care, those of you who are the the team and the heart and soul of the reefing community we do appreciate it so there you guys go i'm always trying to get back to you if i can so one more thing <laughs> as always thanks for watching the happy reefing If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralust community.